In other news, Chris Hines Kilayanu Shwalush has been freed from jail. The Department of Correctional Services says Minister Ronald Lamola has placed Walush on parole under strict conditions effective from today. This complies with a constitutional court ruling that the man who assassinated the SACP leader in 1993 be released on parole. A fellow inmate stabbed Walush at the Jose Mampuro Correctional Facility just days later. The department says he was discharged from hospital today. Walush's uh, parole conditions will see him serve two years under community correction. If he violates the conditions, he will then return to prison. Let's stay with us now and speak to Correctional Services spokesperson Singabako Ngamalo. Thank you so much for your time this afternoon, Singabako. Um, he's been placed on parole. What happens now? This basically means that uh, he will then serve uh, the parole uh, period under our system of committee corrections until it expires. And uh, I think um, your intro is correct in saying that is for a period of two years. And this matter, of course, has led to much anger by some who say that they feel that he hasn't shown remorse and there hasn't been enough rehabilitation in this front. How do you address that with him this afternoon? I think a lot was said uh, by the court, uh, which handed down uh, the judgment. All that was expected from the minister was then to uh, then implement that uh, court order. And where then do these developments place the SACP's court challenge? I think the court processes, you know, will take their own life and uh, we then shall await their conclusion. But um, I think the department um, needed to action what was then an instruction from court. Mm. And there's been another story, of course, that has been uh, making headlines today, and that's the stabbing of officials in Kabecha at St. Albans. What happened there? Um, what happened there was very unfortunate. Uh, when um, our officials were undocking cells so that breakfast could be served, then uh, two inmates used that opportunity to step three of our uh, our officials. They use a self-made uh, sharpened object uh, um, to harm them, and uh, they've since been certificated, uh, an investigation launched, and uh, our officials were then treated internally and then moved to an outside hospital facility. One member has been discharged, and two are still receiving medical attention. Was this in an effort for them to escape? Do we know how, you know, how they even got to the point of stabbing them? Were they trying to escape? Was there something else that was happening here? The investigation has to assist us in terms of uh, bringing to the fore what uh, could have been the motive behind this particular act. But one thing that we can say is that the department cannot tolerate actions of this nature where uh, our officials are harmed in this way because when you attack a correctional official, you are attacking the state. Uh, these members are representing the state. Hence, then it's important that um, the firm action is taken and will utilize available avenues you know, in the law to take action against um, these perpetrators. It's something that can never be uh, tolerated under any circumstances. And what do these, you know, these calls of action now look like? You say that they've been separated and you say you'll use other avenues within the law. Can you talk to us about those avenues that you are exploring? Uh, one of the things that um, uh, will be pursued is that a criminal case has to be um, uh, um, registered with the SAPS. Uh, I've said that also doing our own investigation and um, they will then uh, be stripped of the privileges that they were enjoying. They will be reclassified and possibly be moved, be moved to other correctional facilities that deal with people who opt not to follow procedures, not to follow our instructions and act in this particular manner until such time that um, there is change in their behavior and I need to say whatever that they were doing, you know, is completely against. Um, the mandate of, of correction. Hence, then, as a department, we will, will need to step up and ensure that we send a strong message even against those who may want to act in this particular way in future. All right, Singabako, thank you so much for your time. That was Singabako Ngumalo, Correctional Services Spokesperson.